Hello everybody, this is DJ Seleni and also known now as Miss Corn since I brought my classroom to my house and I'm teaching from home. Uh, a lot of people told me that they enjoy seeing the ideas of the lessons that I showed so far. So today I figure I would bring you another lesson and this has to do with science. We were going to start the insect unit from creative curriculum in my classroom and I decided that I'm going to start it right here, right now. So in this lesson today, you will see how we are starting with a butterfly project. And I bought these butterflies online. They deliver to my house. I already had them before we were told that we were going to be working from home. And so you're going to get to see a little bit of science incorporated on all the lessons as we explore the insect unit. Anyway, feel free to comment and tell how things are going in your classroom. I'm really curious to know how things are going and I would like to learn from other teachers. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know, please go ahead, subscribe, activate the bell in case I post something else that you like to see. And meanwhile, just keep doing the wonderful job that you are doing. Right now, you know, this is new territory for teachers and I really commend you for the, for the work that you are doing. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a little more information about Zoom and some new things that I found related to the technology itself. All right, let's start the lesson. Okay, I'm gonna play the good morning song while we're waiting for our friends and then we're gonna say hello to one person at a time, okay? <laughs> guys have a good weekend and remember I asked you to write your name right okay. write your name on a piece of paper and then I ask if you wanted to make a picture so when it's your turn you're gonna get to show your name and you're gonna get to show your picture okay. I have your name cards do you remember that little sign in that we would go like give me a and then you would spell your name and then we're good with then we say your name like cheerleaders we're gonna do that sign in for you too. Okay, Joseph, give me a. Yeah. Give me a. Oh. Give me a. S. Give me a. E. Give me a. E. Give me a. H. What does it spell? Joseph. 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 All right. So remember. Then Miss Corn told you that she ordered some caterpillars, right? And they came, they were so tiny, and every day they ate, and they ate, and they ate, and they got big and big and big. And now they made a chrysalis. Do you see them? They are all, they climb up to the top, and then they put themselves in a chrysalis. And pretty soon they're going to come out, and they're not going to be a caterpillar anymore. They are going to be a butterfly so when they get to be a butterfly they're gonna need some room and they cannot be butterfly in this cup because they're not gonna have enough room to spread the wings so check this out We're going to put them in here in the net. <laughs> I waited for you to be here with me so you could see me doing this. Okay. All right. I put some paper on the bottom here because, uh, I, you know, sometimes when they open their wings, the ink from the wing, the color falls down. It looks like blood, but it's not blood. It's just ink from the wing. Miss Corn's going to put gloves because Miss Corn is afraid of bugs a little bit. So I'm gonna open. Tiene que ser muy con mucho cuidado. Then I'm going to tape to the top. We're gonna be studying about insects. Vamos a estar estudiando ahorita acerca de los insectos. All right, guys, so I'm putting tape. They make little webs so they don't fall off the leaves. And now the web, uh, Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have to get some scissors because the web is pulling them down. Hold on, guys. <laughs> it's going to be an operation. La operación. Got this, Miss Porn. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Alec. Table really nice like that. Okay, good. But you see now, they, because I pulled the, the web, the little guys are kind of going down. Oh, my God. 
I have to cut the web a little bit because they are glued up on the web. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry guys, Mom moments of a lot of tension. I'm doing this because I love you so much because I'm very scared of bugs <laughs> and I thought Miss Alex was going to be doing this part for us <laughs> I did too Miss Corn it's okay it's okay it's I'm going to try our best oh I wonder what color they're going to be they are oh, they are painted ladies one. you guys can google painted ladies and you see what they're going to look like if you're curious just gonna put a few more tape just in case, okay? The tape falls down because we don't want them to fall. If they fall, they can't open their wings and then it's very sad for them. We have six little caterpillars. Can you see them? Can you see them, guys? They're very tiny. You see? So these are the little chrysalis. They're gonna open up and the butterfly is gonna come out. Oh, look, Ana Paula's holding up a picture of what the butterflies are gonna look like. Oh my God, Ana Paula, tell us about it. What color is that, Ana? Like a yellow and orange. What else can you tell us about the butterfly? There's half white and black. Very nice, thank you. That's exactly what they're gonna look like. Now, one thing they don't have is names. We didn't give them names, okay? So in a minute, I'm gonna look at your squares because we talk about squares, right? And then when we say goodbye, I want you to think about one name that you like to give the butterfly. And then we have 15 kids and six butterflies, so we're gonna put it in a, in a, in a raffle. I'm gonna write the names in a piece of paper and then I'm gonna pick it up. And when I pick up, if I pick up your name, that's gonna be the name of the butterfly, okay? I want you to do now is I want you to, to get your square. Remember, Miss Corn said to find two things that have the shape of a square. I want you to bring it right now because we're gonna look at your square. My house is not big enough for all this. Hi, friend. Show us your square and what name do you want for the for the mariposa? Square. Square. All right, square, square, square. Remember, square has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. Tiene cuatro lados que son igualitos. Very good. And Ana Paula, what name do you want for the for the uh, butterfly? <laughs> you guys are doing a very good job. Miss Corn keeps forgetting to say how great this is. You guys are amazing, doing a great job. Tomorrow, I want you to bring two triangles. Hi, guys! It was nice seeing you. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, okay? Goodbye, everybody. I don't hear you. Goodbye, everybody. We're glad you came today. I'll see you tomorrow at 10. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And the one thing I wanted to tell you about Zoom that I just figured out is that there is a feature called Spotlight. And when you choose one student, you mute everybody, unmute one student, and right next to the unmute, unmute button, there are three little dots. You can press there and choose the option spotlight. And if you press the spotlight, that student goes into the big screen and you can ask that student questions and other people can even talk, but that particular person is the one who will be showing on the screen the whole time. So that helped me a lot and made it, things a lot easier for me when I'm prompting the students to tell me more or when I'm clarifying some information that they are giving me. So I hope that has helped you and um, let's, keep, let's keep doing it. Let's keep going. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.